Mum, why would you come into my room without knocking? I was smelling something funny, like someone is burning something. It's probably from outside. I just got off the phone with your teacher and she says your grades have been dropping at an alarming rate. What is going on? Is there a problem I am not aware of? There is no problem, Mum. My teacher is just being dramatic. You can't say there is no problem and you are failing your courses. If you need extra lessons, you can study with your sister. She can assist you where you need help. I don't need any academic assistance, Mum. I would like to be left alone, please. Then, you better sit up. This had better be the last conversation I will be having with you concerning poor grades. I am not paying all that money at your school for you to take your studies nonchalantly. If I hear any similar reports, I won't take it easy on you. Jerry, what's up? Why is your face that way? I'm just stressed out with school in the house. My mom and my teacher are breathing down my neck and I just need to be relaxed for now and feel on cloud nine. Are you with the pill? I am always with it. I am the only supplier in school. However, I can't give you because you haven't paid for the last two supplies I gave you. Come on Bill. We are friends. I have exhausted my pocket money already. I will pay once I get more money. We are friends, but this is business. I need money to stock up or I will run out of the pills. Besides, you have recently been consuming triple the dosage you used to take. I think you need to slow down a little. I can't slow down. I am not myself if I don't take it. I need it. I think you need to look for other ways to get money and stop waiting for pocket money. Guys who use this pill need to always have cash because it is addictive. Let me know when you are ready. This place stinks. I am having a terrible headache. I need to take that pill so I can relax. What can I do for money and what cheap thing can I use to relax at the moment? I know what to do. Jerry. Why is there a lot of smoke in the bathroom? Is that a cigarette? You are smoking? Bring down your voice. You are destroying your lungs and that is totally wrong. You are too young for this. And how is it your business? You had better keep quiet before mom hears you. It is my business because you are my brother and I care about you. I am going to call mom. Whatever. I don't care. You dare smoke cigarettes in my house? What manner of insolence is this? Are you out of your senses? When did this nonsense start? Mom, it's really not a big deal. You need to calm down. I can see that I have been very lenient with you. From this moment, you are grounded. You will only go to school and back home. No football games, no hanging out with friends and no pocket money. I will make sure you are monitored closely everywhere you go. Get rid of that nonsense this minute and go to your room. Now. Good day Principal Joe. I had to leave the office to come here immediately you called. I saw Jerry sitting outside the office. Is everything okay? You are welcome madam. Before I proceed, I would like to know if everything is okay at home. Have there been any recent changes in the house? Everything has been fine at home and no recent changes. What is the matter? Well, a few unfortunate events happened and your son, Jerry is at the middle of everything. Firstly. He was caught smoking in the restroom. Then a few students complained that their money was stolen. Upon checking the school cameras, your son was clearly seen taking money from fear bags without their knowledge. The footage will be sent to your email so you will verify that our accusations are not false. We were also unable to recover the money he stole because he claimed to have bought something. Stealing? Jerry was caught stealing money? As a result of his actions, he will be suspended from school for two weeks. This should give him ample time to reconsider the choices he makes. But Principal, please let's reconsider this punishment. You know the exams are fast approaching and he needs to be able to attend classes. I promise to deal with him accordingly. I will also see the school secretary to refund the money he took. I'm sorry but I have to disagree. The punishment is in line with the school's code of conduct which all students and their guardians are aware of. I can't go against the set regulations for a student who actually deserves this punishment. I will advise that you take him to see a teen counselor to deal with this issue. This child will be the death of me. Thanks a lot Principal Joe. 
my apologies for this situation. I will take him along with me now and ensure this never happens again. Bye. I am extremely disappointed in you Jerry. How could you do this? I was so embarrassed when your principal was talking. So you kept on smoking even after I warned you and now you graduated to stealing? Why do you want to bring disgrace upon our family? Mom, my classmates are looking. Stop shouting, you are embarrassing me. Is that the problem? Something is wrong with your brain. I am taking you to see a counselor because I can't continue with this attitude of yours. Get your things and come with me this minute. Absolute nonsense. Welcome guys to our weekly meeting where we talk about issues affecting us, support each other, overcome challenges together and celebrate breakthroughs. I am pleased to announce that we have a new member in our midst. His name is Jerry and he is a student. Can you tell us more about yourself? I will rather not say anything. I am just here to all the way time. Well, you have to contribute or I would have to give a report that you are not cooperating with the program. Give it a chance. Fine. I am Jerry, like she said. I am here because I got suspended from school for a very flimsy reason. I also think this is a waste of my time. That's all. Thanks for sharing your feelings Jerry. With time, you will get to understand what this meeting is about and you will appreciate the support. I sincerely doubt it. Moving on to our topic for the week, self-control. Jerry, this is a very interesting topic and I need you to listen to everybody's input. You will learn a lot, trust me. I am listening. My son, I have come here to talk to you like a mother. You used to be a loving and sweet child, but now you smoke and you steal. What happened? Why the sudden change in your behavior? Talk to me. There is no problem, Mom. I didn't do anything serious. I don't understand why everyone is making this such a big deal. It is a great deal. Crime starts small and before you know it, it blows up. I know I trained you to be a good person, so all this has to stop. Do not bring shame upon our family with your actions. The neighbors have started talking already. Please, do it for me your mother. Remember all the sacrifice I have made for us to be at this level. Promise me that you will change. Okay mom, I have heard you. Please don't start crying. I am feeling sleepy already. I need to rest. Good night. Thanks for listening to me. Sweet dreams my child. Jerry, why did you call me to meet you here this late at night? Thanks for coming. I really need the pills. I have enough cash to settle everything I am owing you. Look at the cash. Wow! This is a lot of money. How did you get it? Since the incident in school happened, I suspect that you didn't get the money in a legal way. Well, it's none of my business. As long as you pay, I deliver. Here are the pills. Enough to last you for a long time if you use it in moderation. Finally. I can't wait to take them. I have to leave now. See you later. Bye. And where are you coming from by this time? Do you not understand that you are grounded? I was tired of living like a prisoner, so I went out for a walk. That is what you get for behaving like a criminal. The reason I am waiting for you is because I noticed that the money I kept in my safe is missing. The lock was tampered with and the money was stolen. Jerry, did you take my money? Your money? I did not touch your money. I am innocent. Have you asked Bella? Your sister doesn't know anything about it. It's fine. I am going to invite the police since nobody knows who took the money. The police? No don't call them. I am the one who took your money. I am sorry mom. I used the money to buy some things. You unrepentant criminal. You stole from me, your own mother. I have scolded you, punished you, spoken to you gently, taken you to see a counselor, but you have refused to change your ways. I can't deal with you any longer. I am going to call the police to lock you up. You deserve to be in prison. Please mom, do not call the police. I promise to change. I am sorry. 
I will find a way to refund the money. I can't do that from the police cell. This is your last chance. If you try anything like this again, I will throw you out of this house. Go into your room and think about your life. Get out. Officer, all my money, jewelry and gadgets were stolen. I only went to the vet with my puppy and now, everything I own is gone. Where will I start from? This looks like the person knew you wouldn't be home and decided to rob at that time. Can you think of anyone who will do this? No officer, I can't think of anybody who will want to steal from me. I know all my neighbors and they are good people. Except one. Well, we have been hearing rumors of how a young boy that lives in the street steals and uses hard drugs. He steals from his family and friends. Recently, he was suspended from school for stealing. He is the black sheep of the family because his mom and sister are nice people. That is a good place to start. We will question all your neighbors and keep a close eye on him. Then we will check if his fingerprints match the prints we found on your safe. My apologies for the destruction of your property. I will personally ensure the culprit is found and brought to book. I need to leave now to begin my investigations. Thank you, officer. I just finished speaking with your principal, informing him of the situation and he has given the go-ahead to take you into custody. You are wanted at the police station in relation to the robbery on your neighbor's house. We found out that your fingerprint is the exact match to the print found on her safe. Your mother has also been notified and is on her way to the station. Get up and move. Oh no! What have I done? Bella, you came to see me. Yes, we heard the judge's verdict to send you to a juvenile detention center in another state. I wanted to see you before they moved you there. We tried all we could but nothing worked. What about mom? She hasn't come to see me. What about my friends in school? No one has come. Mom is not coming. She will be upset if she knows I came to see you. She warned me to stay away from you just like other parents are warning their children. The school also sent your letter of expulsion to mom and dissociated themselves from this case. Oh no. I have destroyed everything. But why did you do this? Why did you soil our family name? Wherever we go, people gossip about us. At school, at church, at mom's office, in the market and on social media. Mom is considering moving to another place because of everything and I don't blame her. I am sorry for my actions, Bella. Please forgive me and beg mom to forgive me too. I am sorry for the heartache I caused. I lacked self-control and it was all my fault. I wish I could turn back the hands of time. I would have done things differently. It is okay, I will try to convince her to come and see you before they move you. I have to leave now before she realizes I'm not home. Take care of yourself. Bye. Nobody wants to be associated with a common criminal like me any longer. Even my own mother has refused to come and see me because of my actions. I am truly the architect of my own misfortunes. I promise to turn a new leaf once I am released.